basically we're heading toward the recovery mode. Neighbors in Derider are trying to move past the recent flooding which tore through their town. My dad had just opened up the drain from a couple minutes ago. He comes inside and he's like, yeah, we've got a little over an inch and a half of rain in the past hour. Neighbors like Zach Thomas. All of a sudden everything just comes flying down and you could hear the huge stones and stuff. One of the areas Zach and the rest of his family will need to continue to work on is right here out in the front of their yard where it is still very muddy and slippery. An area that Zach says was only grass before the flooding came. The water has since gone down and the damage all over to Ryder is now clearly visible. <laughs> especially on Cary Road, where Zach and his neighbor, Donald Lydell, live. The town received aid from the state to help them repair one of the bridges to help them get back on their feet. Some guys start at 6.30 in the morning, and they work 12, 13-hour days, uh, and they're busy, and it's, you just can't believe the things that they can do. DOT crews have been there for, they were there for about a week straight through the holiday, through the weekend. Um, and they, they did a ton of work for us and, and saved us probably hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's helped fix public roads, but for Zach in his front yard, his work is still cut out for him. We can just do the hard labor and really won't cost too much money. We'd borrow the neighbor's uh, tractor down the road, fill up his bucket and go dump it somewhere. Or anywhere at all as this community comes together to recover. We were able to mow it. Reporting from Derider. Now we're, we're not able to mow any of it. I'm Alex Rusilla.